questions. Mr. Ambassador, please. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, first of all, let me uh, thank uh, Nancy and Ambassador uh, Prince Lyman for this uh, wonderful session. I also have to thank the, uh, our colleagues here on the podium. I will not talk long because there are a lot of people who are throwing in some questions. I'll just make uh, my uh, little comments. Uh, yeah, the situation in South Sudan needs attention from all of us, the international community and South Sudanese uh, people. Because what is going on here doesn't please anybody. Uh, and if so, I think uh, the peace agreement that has been signed was a work of everybody. The region and the US with its allies in the European Union, the Chinese, uh, the Russians, and everybody worked very hard to achieve this, this peace agreement. And I think it is only the peace agreement if it is supported internationally, originally, as you all say, that will save the country. Other than that, it's going to be bad for the country. And then the international community will come in with a very big bill trying to save the situation. So I agree with, the, with John when he said that diplomacy has to be step up. Uh, yes, the region might be busy with other problems. Every country in the region has its own problems. But the United States has a leverage, as all of you mentioned here. Uh, the Republicans supported the CPA and they brought the CPA. The Democrats supported the referendum. President Obama and his team brought the independence. I agree. The South Sudanese also paid high price to get this country. So we need also uh, to support diplomacy. Second, I think uh, the envoy, Ambassador Booth, has done a great job uh, in this regard. So uh, by suggesting that we change the envoy, we bring in somebody else, some, somebody else that, will, that person will take a long time for him to, to grab uh, the issues and uh, know the people and, and all this. So let's support the current envoy that is, uh, that is there and is going to be there when the next administration is going to be uh, in. So changing the envoy now will not help. The near one will take time for him to understand the issue. So the legacy of Obama includes the independence of South Sudan. And this is also by the support of the American people. Uh, yes, we agree that there are tri tribal sentiments there and, and, and yeah, it is not one side thing. And this is something that uh, the international community should also help the government to arrest this situation by working with the, with the opposition and working with the, uh, with the government. It is not, not one-sided thing. The war in Equatoria was, trans, was transferred there by the opposition. Before then, there was, nothing, there was nothing of that kind in Equatoria. But when the opposition transferred the war to Equatoria, this one, this kind of things emerged. So we have to work uh, to do that and, uh, and work very hard to do that. I think the, the power sharing now in the, in, the, in, in the government is according to the agreement. Uh, the IO, the new IO leadership was not selected by President Salva. It is the IO that remained in Juba, nominated uh, Taban to take place of Lake Mashar. So if there is any kind of reconciliation within IO, that is not the, the business of government. But the government is also working to see to it that the reconciliation that you talk about, Ambassador Lehman, is done. 
we need a conciliation. That is something that all of us, we need to, uh, to work uh, on it. So reconciliation is, is very important. So thank you very much, Ambassador. I know there are a lot of people that want to contribute, but I thank the panel for their insight. But let us work the government, the international community, the interest groups, so that we arrest this situation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. Thanks to all the panel. I apologize we didn't have more time for Q and A's discussions here. But as I said, if we can, those who would like to, we will we'll continue informally upstairs, and people will show the way. But I want to thank the panel. I want to thank Nancy very much for for leading uh, this effort, and uh, for Congressman Rooney, who is not, has left already. But for all of you attending, all of you concerned, thank you very much. We're continue to all work on this, and we'll be uh, focusing on it for some time to come. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.